Welcome, my dear students and others, to my chapter 10 continuing coverage of gases. So in my previous lecture that I've linked to in the description below, I introduced you to Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. Now, based on the information provided at the end of that video, we can combine the equations shown right here, which we can use to individually calculate the pressures of three different gases, P1, P2, and P3, with this equation that I also introduced in our earlier video to make this a new equation, where the total pressure of an entire system for however many gases you have is simply equal to the sum of all of those individual gases moles added together and then multiplied by RT over V. Pretty simple, right? Now this equation right here, 10.13 from our text, the text is referenced in the description below, implies that if temperature and volume are kept constant for a system, then the system's total pressure is determined completely by the number of gas moles in it. So what in the world does this mean? Well, if you have three gases, let's say, gas X, Y, and Z, then their individual pressures are proportional to their individual molar percentages. Okay, I know you might be lost here. So let me try to explain this a little better using an example problem. Let's pretend that we have a mixture of gases containing 12 moles of X, 10 moles of Y, and 5 moles of Z. Let's also pretend that our system's total pressure is 24 atmospheres. Now, if that's the case, then what is the individual pressure of each gas? Okay, here's how we solve this. First, in this system, you can see that the total number of moles is 12 plus 10 plus 5 equals 27 moles of total gases X, Y, and Z. So the following are the individual percentages that each gas's number of moles contributes to the system. For example, gas X has 12 moles of the total 27 in the system. Thus, its percentage is equal to 44%. By analogy, gas Y's mole percentage in the system is 37%. That is 10 moles of Y divided by 27 total moles times by 100. And gas Z's percentage is 5 divided by 27 times 100, which comes to 19%. These are the individual mole percentages of each of these gases in the total system. These mole percentages, by the way, are also called mole fractions. I don't really know why, because they're decimals here, not fractions, but that's what we call them. This means then that 44% of the total pressure in our system comes from gas X, 37 comes from Y, and 19 comes from Z. So what is the partial pressure of each of these gases? Well, because the original problem told us that the total pressure in the entire system is 24 atmospheres, all we have to do to figure out X's pressure, for example, is just multiply 24 atmospheres by 0.44. That resulting number is the number of atmospheres that are coming off of X. By analogy, the number of atmospheres coming from Y is equal to 24 atmospheres multiplied by 0.37, because Y is 37%, and from Z is 24 multiplied by 0.19, because Z's percentage is 19%. These are the individualized percentages of X, Y, and Z, and hence the answer to our question. We end then with a final question, which I'm not gonna answer here, but invite you to try on your own. A mixture of gases contains 0.75 moles N2, 0.30 moles O2, and 0.15 moles of CO2. If the total pressure of the entire mix is 2.15 atmospheres, then what is the partial pressure of each component? A fun problem for you to work on your own for the sake of gaseous joy. Until next time, my dear students and other viewers, please have an enjoyable rest of your day.